And I'm delighted to be joined by Jor Yahav, uh, Vice President of Elbit Systems. Um, welcome. Thank you. So Elbit Systems is a world-renowned player in the defence and security market. The Skylens is aimed at the commercial aviation market. How would you describe the current state of the commercial aviation market and how would you compare it to the defence market? So uh, it's, it's, a global, um, uh, it's a global phenomenon. The commercial aviation market is, uh, is growing quite rapidly com comparing to the defence market and we want to be part of it. So our strategy in terms of uh, penetrating to this market is to bring our innovation and experience from the military market and find uh, uh, places in which we can contribute um, in terms of safety and efficiency to the commercial aviation. So let's be specific now. So let's talk about the innovation Skylens. Could you briefly describe the product and the advantages of this product over the current offering and the competition? Pilot flying head up using head up uh, a display can, can get or can do much more with the airplane, especially in low visibility conditions. Uh, current solutions are quite expensive, hard to install, and therefore um, um, the acceptance rates in the market is quite low. Uh, they're basically unaffordable for uh, medium and small uh, airplanes, helicopters, uh, and even for airlines, they are quite expensive. What we are proposing here is, uh, is a new approach of having the same capability or even better capability uh, with a wearable device, uh, being able to provide it to more operators, uh, more segments in the market which couldn't get this capability uh, in an affordable manner. Okay, and do you envisage your systems being on board every type of platform, so helicopters, business aircraft, regional jets, etc.? Technically, we can install it in any platform. Uh, we, I believe that the, the next ones to receive it or to adopt the technology is helicopters. Uh, the necessity or the, the requirements there is quite significant in terms of accident rate and uh, ability to operate at night in low visibility condition. Uh, we do see a lot of interest in regional and uh, business jet aviation as well. Do you think that the airlines are ready to invest in your systems and how can it improve their operations? So we, show, we built up a quite an um, impressive business case for the airlines, showing them what kind of credit in terms of operation they can get. Uh, they can save a lot of money by avoiding uh, cancellations and uh, uh, go around. In what situations would they avoid cancellations? Especially in low visibility condition where they have to either not to dispatch because the, uh, uh, because the airport is under the, uh, the minimum required or not to land and de therefore to divert. Uh, these are typical on either not, not to take off in some cases, not to be able to take off because of the uh, yeah. low visibility condition. Those are, we build a business case around this, uh, uh, these assumptions and we believe that it will be quite appealing for those operators. And at the moment, um, heads-up display systems, both wearable and fixed systems, are optional. Do you think that in the future they could become standard equipment and maybe one day mandated? Yeah, so in fact, they, are, they, are, they become standard. They are standard on business jet and they become standard on, se they are standard on the new Dreamliner 787 by Boeing. So we see a tendency in the, of the, on the OEM side to include them as part of the type certificate, as part of the platform. And what it drive, drives the market quite a lot is uh, the Chinese mandate to include uh, all air transport to, to, you know, to mandate uh, head-up display capability on all uh, new airplanes uh, to the air transport segment and uh, to uh, force airlines to retrofit their fleets by 2025 with head-up display. So I definitely see this, uh, um, this phenomena or this trend in the market. Like yeah. you don't see a fighter today without the head-up display or even without the helmet, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen the same. Thank you very much for your time. It's yeah. been a pleasure talking to you and congratulations on your new Product Innovation Leadership Award, which I'm uh, honoured to be presenting.